investment uh, working on uh, refactoring uh, God objects. And this is uh, not uh, directly a user visible um, feature or anything like that. It's um, mainly about internals. So uh, the problem was that we have um, a few classes, um, especially the, the classes that uh, represent uh, the documents in the applications that are just very, very large. They have um, lots of methods and members. And for example, the SWDoc, which is a writer document, has a, a declaration that is um, 1,800 lines long just uh, with the members and methods and uh, no implementation yet. So um, there is a lot of uh, um, tight coupling of uh, various uh, different uh, parts of the applic uh, application and its uh, model uh, going on there. And the uh, header file um, also includes uh, lots of other headers uh, that are needed for the members and so on. And the uh, result of that is that uh, if you change any of those headers, then uh, you basically rebuild all of Writer, and uh, that um, takes a long time. So, um, yeah, another um, problem was that the implementation of the SWDoc class, um, all the methods were uh, distributed uh, widely uh, across many, many files. So it was uh, also difficult to uh, find the implementation methods. Um, so, uh, but uh, there was a bit of hope for it uh, because we already had uh, some predefined, uh, some some uh, previously existing uh, interfaces. I document. Uh, they all start with I document. So, for example, I document uh, field access contains some method for uh, text fields and so on and. These uh, interfaces did already exist, but um, the problem was that uh, SWDoc implemented all of the interfaces uh, directly itself. So um, what we then uh, did, what uh, Valentin did during the um, GSOC, is that um, he um, created a new class for every interface, and uh, that new class then has the implementation of these methods and the members that uh, belong to this uh, bit of functionality and so um, all of this code is moved out of the SWDoc class basically. So what, what, have we, uh, what has uh, Valentin achieved during the summer? Um, yeah, as I said, there are now these uh, separate classes and the SWDoc class um, um, is much smaller and has all these get idoc document um, foo uh, methods that basically just uh, retrieve the, um, the, uh, an instance of the class that then has uh, the, the implementations of it. So um, also um, uh, we have coupled uh, things a bit in that uh, the, the writer uh, user interface code no longer um, um, and calls uh, the in these uh, um, or what should I say um, the, 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 the actual implementing classes are not visible to the user interface code. The user interface code only sees the uh, defined interfaces, and so um, we have achieved a bit of uh, decoupling in that way. And. So as a result, the SWDoc declaration is um, much shorter now. It is um, now only, I think, 1,300 lines or something like that, and it's uh, over 400 lines shorter. And um, for every single one of these new classes, we have one uh, CXX file that contains all of its implementation. And so it is also easier uh, for developers to, to find um, an implementation of something. And uh, all of this is already integrated in master. And so uh, we have basically achieved uh, the goals of the uh, user project. Mm -hmm. um, but there is still, uh, the situation is still not optimal. 
Um, SW Doc is still a bit too big, uh, which is mainly because there are lots of uh, additional uh, methods that are um, that did not uh, belong to any of these um, existing interfaces. We have also um, moved a, a bunch of the methods into uh, into the implementation classes, but there are still a lot left, and so there's uh, still work to do in that area. And uh, of course, also um, I imagine that uh, the other implementations like uh, Impress and Calc have uh, perhaps similar problems, <coughs> although they are probably not as severe as in Writer. And uh, so there, um, similar things could probably be done uh, in the other applications. And yeah, that's, that's it. <coughs>